one. <laughs> Another one. We got new victims, baby. have a crazy ass event today, you know what I'm saying? The site, we ain't about to do a damn damn but chicken wing. But what we are about to do is we're taking our ass to the yard. We got to show up to get a, I guess, updated insurance card or something for this truck. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we're about to do. But other than that, baby, other than that, you two, we're chilling, chilling. <laughs> today we're supposed to be off. I see they got you working hard out there, huh? Right. <laughs> yeah, I see it. But yeah, we gotta um, we gotta go get this insurance card. And for the first time, we might get lucky and be part of the fill in you too. Pre-fill. That's what it's called, pre-fill. Don't ask me too much, damn it. <laughs> Don't ask me too much. I, I, I barely know what a pre-fill is. But common sense would detect that because we, we're about to start a new well, I think, tomorrow. Today's Monday, so tomorrow should be the start of a new well. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, look at this right here. See, this is the things you got to think about when you want to when you want to bring your truck to the oil Yeah, look at this. Yeah, look at it. And this ain't just no part of it. This is a whole occupation archaeological dig out here on this road and they don't give a damn with that being said i ain't giving a damn either <laughs> we got the drivers out here but golly this man imagine bringing your truck out here in that mo oh my god that's like a whole six inch deep right there the drive tire is in there but yeah man these are these are these are the things you got to think about you all want to come out here as own operators Golly, girl, yeah, 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 your ass, yeah, that part of what? God, damn, boy, it is crazy. That shit is crazy, boy. Anyways, let's go, because we don't give a damn. <laughs> we come through drivers, all right, this is my, oh, 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 shit, oh, God, leave, my boy. Whew. Hey, I ain't playing. That thing damn near knocked my heart off. Woo! Hoo, hoo. Yeah, yeah. So the little truck stop we were at, it's really quick. Right down the road from the yard. We're in the yard already. We coming in here. I already got a message from dispatch. They said because I'm I am i am just one of the realest NIGGAs out here. I'm going to be part of the pre-field. But I'm like, all right, so I took this opportunity. Come to the yard. Get this damn insurance she messaged me about. And uh, have it that way. We're ready to go. That way, we're gonna be ready to roll. Ready to roll. <laughs> there goes them back up, boy. There they go. Another one. <laughs> Another one. We got new victims, baby. We got new victims. Another one. Another one. <laughs> Coming out here with that, with that, with that, with the American dream. Trying to get the green so they can get in between. We welcoming all women. All women. But if you notice, know they in the other yard. So wish me they're going to get a pit bill. So wish me they are going to get to the money. Because the pits don't do the raggedy ass lease roads that, uh, you know, individuals like myself do. That's, I don't know why. I don't know how to decide that. But I just, it might have something to do with it because them pit a bill $100,000 more than this old school raggedy. But true to the core, all them down and dirty trucks, bubbles, you feel me? So, let's come and get this paperwork. Let's go be part of this pre field And hopefully we get in two loads today, get in two loads tomorrow before the well start, and we should be good. And if they try to move me anywhere else, hold on. If, they, if I come out here, YouTube, and I tell you they move me somewhere else, I just want you to know somebody 
their family in the next two, three days will be doing a whole lot of slow singing and flower bringing if they start that nonsense with me. Because everybody, y'all see, you see the yard? It's full food, man. Everybody just chilling. There's nothing to do today except for they're getting like 18 trucks. Bro, what the fuck, man? Damn, man. Damn, shit. Look at this idiot out here, bro. Block the whole damn road. Oh, my God. All right, man. We're going to have to bust a fucking U-turn. Excuse me, YouTube. Y'all not usually sure don't go this hard. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, but every now and then that thug life in me, man. That thug life in me, man. Got to... Every now and then you got to cut somebody out, man. Because some of these people act like they like common sense. You know? But anyways, uh... Yeah, we can't turn that way because some geniuses... And here goes these idiots right here. Oh, my God. People. He see me backing up. What did he decide to do? Back right behind me. Back right behind me. Now, if I run the mobile, you know that they're going to say I'm wrong for that. They, they'll say I'm wrong for that now to run his ass over. But, but he, he saw me. He saw me coming. What, what y'all doing, bro? He saw me coming and he choose to do this bullshit. All right, whatever, man. I back around you, dumbass. He's not, he's not gonna get out the way. So we're gonna have to back. I was gonna back bust a U-turn, but now we're gonna have to back around this dumbass because he wanna sit where the, he's at. I ain't trying to whoop nobody's ass right now, man. I can't, I can't afford to beat nobody's ass. I can't afford to be talking to the man in blue right now. So it is what it is. Sometimes you got to deal with the nonsense. If you can't afford to deal with the man in blue right now, that's just how it goes, all right? You got to deal with idiots like this right here. What's up, man? Yeah, what you got to say? Oh, you got something to say, bro? Hey, you got something to say? Yeah, I don't damn think so. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, what's up, bro? What's up, amigo? Yeah, man, I ain't looking at me like he lost his damn mind. What you looking at, bro? What you looking at? You got something to say? Let me know. Shit, I'm out here frustrated turn the tongue. Your ass gonna go behind me and shit and wait. Oh, dumbass. Anyways, you two. I don't know, man. This is what happens when you ain't got no money, bro. When, when you ain't getting to the money, you get distracted by petty things like that. So I need to stop. I need to stop. I need to cool down, you two. We need to cool down, boy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We need to slow down, man. We, this thug life ain't for everybody, damn it. This thug life ain't for everybody, my boy. All right, we're going to have to bust another you right here straight now. But yeah, this thug life ain't for everybody, you feel me? <laughs> but sometimes they get me going, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. All right, so let's, we're gonna go out and turn. I was gonna park horizontal, but I'm, I'm gonna be a nice dude. And we're gonna park. You know these people had the nerve to tell me, please go get the truck washed. Bitch, please, I ain't washing shit. For what? So it can go out there and get dirty five minutes later and then I don't waste that three hours of my life that y'all ain't trying to pay me for? Yeah, nah, I'm good. I'm gonna stay in this truck, watch YouTube videos, and, 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 and look at the yams in all area code. That's what we're gonna do. Anyways, here we go, we're here. I'm gonna leave this on. I'm gonna go over there and handle this paperwork real quick. You feel me? We'll be back, YouTube. Here we go. Y'all see them right there? Y'all see them right there? Hold on now, we can zoom in here. Y'all see that money going in there? Yeah, that's a co-worker right there, damn it. That's a co-worker right there, damn it. <laughs> yes, sir. We're about to see what this pre-fill is all about, man. The first time you're doing pre-fill, I think it's just the same concept. You pull up, download your ass, we call it a day, but we're here, La Mesa. Um, the good thing is, the well is pretty much the same location that uh, that this Pioneer well was at, but what they did was they moved it a little bit, like a quarter mile down on the left side. No, on the right side of the well. So 
the same lease but different part of the lease so direction should be about the same it ain't nothing I'm, I'm just happy I'm doing something you know so hopefully I can get in two three loads today call it a day and that would be better than nothing because the well they don't start doing down drilling until Wednesday that's what I heard so if I can get in two today two in tomorrow it be gravy, man. We all be all right, in my opinion, anyways. Looks like we're about to be next, so we're about to be next, folks. Let me see if I can put you all on here. I ain't put you on the dashboard for a minute. Y'all don't get mad now. Y'all ain't been on the dashboard for a minute. They in the life bar of this oil field trucker. Yes, sir, your favorite dog skin YouTuber. We out here once again. Like we've done time and time again, YouTube. Everybody's welcome to this all field money. Everybody's welcome. I mean, we got women coming in and out of here all day, every day. It ain't about sex. It ain't about race. It ain't about, well, you got to be 21, but you get the point. You get the point, ladies and gentlemen. We trying to get to this money. <laughs> we trying to get it for the cheap instead of for the free. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We out here. The cheap instead of for the free. Because damn it, boy. When you're sitting around, you be doing this low for the free instead of the fee. Sometimes it feel good for, it's for you to just get it for the cheap. For you to just get it for the cheap, you know what I'm saying? Because you do enough cheap, you're still going to get the green to get in between. That is all I'm saying. All right, so pretty much what we're waiting for, we'll pull up until we see that red light. That red light is our favorite friend out here on this loadout. When that red light says stop, we stop, damn it, boy. We stop. Y'all keep an eye on that green. Keep your eye on that green. Yes, sir. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go, baby. They dropped our hand. That means that money about to start rolling in. And we're leaving. That's it, folks. That's it. Meanwhile, I'm going to take this opportunity to fill out my manual paperwork that I got to fill out. I ain't, ain't going to keep you all on the dash while we're doing this. So we'll be back, y'all. I'm telling y'all, man, everybody can come and get this oil field money. Everybody can come and get his oil field money. I'm telling y'all. Everybody can come and get his oil field money. We don't discriminate. Yeah, we still red. We still red. It's all right. We're chilling. But I can feel the money getting in. I can feel the money getting in the trailer. That's all that matters. Listen. As long as you can feel the money getting in, that's the only thing that matters. All right. I've never been happy to, for the potential of two loads a day than I have been in the last two weeks. Things been a little slow. I ain't going to tell y'all no lie, man. But I I'm going to give you a free game. Let me give you a free. Now, let me make sure y'all can see my fine ass over here, man, before I do all that. I'm going to give you a free game. All right, y'all ready? Give you a free game. Uh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Here goes Maria. <laughs> there goes she know the down here, man. Free game. Don't matter how you get it. As long as you get that off your money. But uh, let me give you a free game. So, one thing you got to have your mindset on is bare minimum, right? I noticed I met a friend out here, man. He always coming up with an excuse, especially where we at, to stay here. Okay, including myself, I've kind of amended my expectation a little bit. I ain't going to lie to you. You know, you came out here looking at 2,500 net as a company, and then slowly when things get a little tough, you find yourself, A, either I'm going to leave, or B, you amend your expectation. Be like, all right, look, if I can take home 1,500, that's fine. 
so forth and so on. You get a picture, but eventually you got to have like a bottom line. Be like, nah, I ain't about to stay here for Lord and death. You got to know and set what you feel like you value. You know what I mean? Because things is going to get tough. We at the mercy of the wells most of the time. And just like every company, I don't care what they say, but every company got a favoritism. That's just how it goes. Every company got favoritism, right? So if you go to a company, not just to off you, just in general, and you find yourself you having to lower your expectation money-wise, I don't care about anything else. I ain't here to make friends. I ain't not here for you to like me. Just give me work. Let me do what I'm here to do. That's all that matters to me. So it comes down to money. You can't keep lowering and lowering and lowering your expectation to, just so you can justify or hoping for better days, all right? So just keep that in mind. You got to know where, where to draw the line. If you can't make $5,000 a week, don't keep giving yourself excuses all the way till you get down to $1,000 a week. And then just so, because you think you're about to get back to that $5,000 a week that you came for, all right? That, hey, that's, that's the little gems. That's all. That's all I want to say on that topic. But we're still waiting. We're still waiting for this green light. Uh, we did the manual paperwork. That's done with. Boom. So once this light on green, y'all y'all know the principle. You go to that kiosk right there. You scan in your ticket or you type in your uh, your info, and you're good to go. That's it. I'll see y'all when we get in the wind. Yeah, part of my least favorite out by the oil field. These damn lease roads, folks. I mean, I know I know this iPhone be having hella good stability, right? But we shaking out here. <laughs> we shaking, folks. I ain't gonna tell you no lie. We shaking. That's what comes with the territory, baby. That's what comes with the territory. We are about a mile and a half away from the new site. Like I told you, I'm pretty sure I know where it's at because we've been told where they were going to move to. And so, I want to see the setup. This is a pre-field. There goes a co-worker in front of me. Meaning we're loading up the silos before they start drilling in like two days. So, let's hope those silos are going to hold a whole lot. We need them. We need them stacked to the top, baby. Stacked to the top. So if I can get in two loads, I'm good with that. I get in three loads, even better. But yeah, man, these are in the middle of nowhere. For all the ho the all feel hopeful. If you got AT and T, you screwed, bro. Cause that's what I have. Half the time I don't have signal, depending on the world I'm at. So I hope you are ready for that SOS on your phone. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. Nothing. That was the last well site. You all see how quick they break that down? Yeah, the Migos don't play. The Migos do not play. That don't even look like it was a well. It was a drill site. Yeah. Yes, sir. They're done with it. The Migos don't play. There goes the one we're going to right there. So I told y'all they just moved it down from right there to right there. The Migos don't play, man. You want something done, you get the Migos on it. They will get it done, boy. They will get it done. Quick than a motherfucker, boy. Quicker than before you say, hold on, let me go get a mortgage from the bank. They say, I ah, see y'all, the house is done. The house is done, senor. For favor. Senor, senor, the house is done. We ain't got time for no momento, senor. The, the house is done. I might have told you all wrong because we usually, hold on, we're going to see either that. I'm following people that don't know where the heck they're going. We're about to see, though. We're about to see. This is my first time on this one. Ah, it might be the one down there. I don't know if y'all can see it. But way down there. Yeah, y'all ain't gonna be able to see. It might be that one instead of the one I showed y'all. So we'll see. It's a learning process. I ain't never done pre-field before. First time to the new site. 
Uh, YouTube, I'll let y'all know when we get down there. But we still on this raggedy, bumpy, back breaking, spine effing up road, baby. Get ready. You want to come to the office, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. So I, I, I take that back, folks. I told y'all to ride well. I feel like where we're going right now is staging. I think that's where we're going, is staging, because we're pulling up. And every time you see a, a damn pickup truck or whatever other, whatever other car they have, that's the guy that's responsible for telling you when y'all can roll to the well. So we are hitting staging. We're definitely staging, folks. Woo. There you go. That's the man responsible for telling us where to go. So let's see what he got to say today. I got a Hey, I got a question, man. You know how long the wait is going to be? Do you know how long the wait is going to be? Yeah, yeah, that guy uh that guy's low-key a dick, man. He's uh he's one of the frat coordinators. And every time he's at the well, man, he uh you know how people ain't got no power in life whatsoever, then you give them a little bit of position and they abuse the hell out of that. Yeah, he, he's one of those guys, man. He's uh he a dick. I damn near whooped his ass two days ago, man, because there's usually two trucks at the well at the time, and his ass was out here running the Viper, right? Which is, uh, I showed y'all the Viper before if you watch my other videos, which is what they used to unload this hopper bottoms where he was running that. And I pulled in behind uh, another truck, right? Because, I mean, did that take like five minutes to unload, man? It ain't no rocket science. When I pulled in, this motherfucker didn't tell me to stop or nothing. He waited until I got all the way over there and his fat ass came out here and told me to turn back around bust a U-turn and go all the way to the back of the line. That's what I meant. Oh, ugly ass mofo. But it is what it is. Anyways, we're out here staging. And uh, yeah, they're gonna let us know when to go to the well, which I was correct. I told you the right well, and that's way over there. So I see y'all when I see y'all. All right, obviously I lied. They finally got me out here coming to the well 10 hours later, actually 13 hours later. So, you know, we follow on the line. Follow on the line. We're still in pre-field phase, okay? And, uh, yeah, look at that convoy, boy. There we go. There's the well. Don't forget we were staged over there. And now we are... We are not in line for the well. There we go. Pre-field, pre-field. My understanding is tomorrow is when we're going to start the actual fracking. So hopefully things pick up tomorrow. Because Lord know we can't afford to stand away for no more 10 hours. I'm going down and shut, but we can't do that. <laughs> we can't afford that, but all right. So here we go. It's crazy because there's a whole other there's drilling going on right there right now on that side. So hopefully once this is done, we're gonna migrate over there. Or maybe it's connected, I don't know. But yeah, there's that is going on. We gotta handle this. The next week or so should be very interesting. Cause we're probably gonna try to go home like the 11th, the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th. Anyway, we gotta get there and do taxes before the deadline next month. So that's the goal. That's the goal. Oh, man. So the excuse they gave me was the paperwork didn't go through this morning when I scanned in my first load yesterday. So they started this BS. They don't give you another load. They don't put dispatch on another load until you scan all your paperwork in. Uh complications so 
If your phone service sucks when you're out here, you ain't got no service, tough titties, okay? You ain't getting another load. That's what I'm getting out of this. But you gotta take it how you can get it, right? And right now, we're just happy. We're about to unload this and hopefully we can do two more today. Yeah, we're finally here. We're finally getting unloaded. It's gonna take five minutes and that's just it. Now time to get this paperwork signed, YouTube. Time to get this paperwork signed. That taking 12, 13. What's up, my man? How you doing? Here we go, here we go. Hey, my man, so today the last day for pre-field, right? You all start getting in the hole tomorrow? Yeah, we'll take tomorrow. All right, man, appreciate that. Yes, sir. They start tomorrow, today, last day of pre-field, so if I can get in another another load, that would be great. And speaking of which, I got to handle that. We learned from yesterday. Don't wait to turn in this paperwork. Turn it in right now. So uh, <laughs> we'll be back, you two. Yeah, get the big book. You gotta fill this out along with everything else on like 500 apps, every load. So YouTube, we got a dilemma out here, man. We got a dilemma. Um, I got a message from dispatch saying that we are done with pre-fills. But I had a load on me already. So I went ahead and picked up the load. I slept on at the well anyways, right? 10, 13 hours waiting to get unloaded the last load. So I'm like, you know what, I'm picking up this load. Shoot, what I look like. So we're gonna feel like this paperwork And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send them a message just to confirm that we are done. And if we are done, And if we're all done, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to find me a truck stop with this load on my back and just relax it tomorrow. And then tomorrow, this will be my first drop. So I should be able to do about three loads tomorrow, hopefully. Because that's when we actually... That's when we actually going to start... Uh, That's when we actually, that's when they're actually gonna start going down. So that's when we're gonna need the most product. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna confirm. Let me fill out this paperwork, guys, because I can't talk and write. I don't know, don't ask me. All right, I'll see you in a second. I'm waiting on these people to reply. Dispatch out here confused how I'm gonna come and get another load. What they gotta understand is once you want this money, you want this money. <laughs> once you want this money, you want this money. I guess they mistakenly sent me a load. And I want about turning down no damn load. You lost your mother for a mile, man. You lost your mom. You lost your mind, so I rushed my black ass over here. I got on the load. Now, 
They out here texting me. Weren't you just empty not so long ago? Y y yes, I was. <laughs> but I got a load on me already. I had a load on me already. Yeah, we came and got another one. We came and got another one. <laughs> Move on to, with that booze and then talking about you were the last one in line. Yeah, I was the last one in line, but I also had a load on me. So I went and got the damn load. So I went and got the load. Y'all can come at me later with that booze, thinking I'm about to give up some damn money. Y'all thought I was going to give up some money? Hell to the no, no, no. I see it on it. I see it on it. Shoot. I will sit on that load, on this load, thinking I was going to be like, oh, no. You said, you said I was the last load. I'm not going to pick up the one you got on me. I did one load yesterday, people. One load yesterday. So I took the opportunity when I got me another one. Uh-huh. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, sir. I'm, I'm going to let them sit on it for a second. Let them simmer on that stupid question. Until I'm out of the ship. Because I don't want them to say anything. And, and, and it's mixed shit. Oh, well. Go ahead and return it. I, I, I'm pretty sure you cannot return sand, but I'm just saying. Once I get on the county road, I can honestly say, well, I pick it up a little bit ago, I'm on the way. That's it. Yeah, we had to pull a quick one. We had to pull a quick one. Hey, they got to be quicker than that. <laughs> they got to be quicker than that, boy. Anyway, let's get out of this bumpy ass road. Yeah, we be, we, be, we be out here, boy. We be out here swaving day in and day out. My condolences to anybody who's out here in the oil field and is an owner-operator. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I can understand why y'all be driving 10 miles an hour. Trust me, I can understand. I can understand. But us company drivers got places to go, so move, get out the way, get out the way, get out the way, yeah, 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 yeah. we on that right track, hold on, I'll be right back, yeah, that's right, yeah, 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 you the people would go out, uh, excuse me, sir, but I got some money to make, y'all out here getting six, seven hundred dollars a load, I'm getting 25 percent, I'm getting 25 percent, I ain't got time. You worried about your shucks. I'm worried about electric bill getting paid. <laughs> you worrying about all the bread you're making today. I'm worried about getting the green to get in between. Why? Because I got to get paid to get laid. That's just how the play, that's just how the game goes, all right? Ooh! 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 I'm telling you. These people be acting like they don't make millions of dollars to fix these damn roads or something. All right. We on smooth sail, baby. We're about to get in the wind. This is probably going to be my last one before I get to a truck stop. Or before I get to the well-toned loose. I'll catch you on the rebound, folks. <laughs>